guys, so today's video I'm basically going to show you guys all of my sick essentials. Don't worry, I'm not sick right now, but I mean, I bet some of you guys who are watching that are, and even if you aren't sick, you should probably get your notebook or your notes file on your phone, and then write all these things down, because trust me, they will help you later when you actually are sick. But anyways, let's just go right into the video. will help you if you have a sore throat and that is a throat comfort tea by Yogi? Yo Yo Yogi. Yogi. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's really good and I don't know what it is about it. I always have this when I'm sick. It just like really soothes the throat. The <clears throat> can't talk today. Anyways, so yeah, you should definitely try this. Okay, so the next thing I suggest you use when you have a sore throat are the Ricola cough drops. I love these cough drops because all the other cough drops either taste terrible or they have so much sugar in them. I don't know how they actually help you, but anyways, this is the cherry honey and they taste really good and they actually don't have that much sugar in them. So if you have a sore throat, I really suggest you try these. Okay, so this next thing will help you out if you feel nauseated or your stomach hurts, and that is ginger ale. It kind of has the same concept as drinking Sprite when your stomach hurts. I just think ginger ale is a little more healthier. So yeah, next time you're at the store when you're sick, you should definitely pick that up. Okay, so this next thing will actually help you out if you're not sick but your family is and you don't want to get sick, and that is vitamin C. So you can take like emergency or like Zycam or Airborne, like any of those like immune system boosters. So vitamin C like basically boosts your immune system so you can like fight the germs you already have or keep germs away. The last thing is essential oils. And send essential oils, whether you put it in an infuser and then breathe it, or you put it with some applesauce and then eat it. Either way, it's important to get some essential oils because it can shorten your duration of your sickness. First of all, it's super important to stay comfortable while you're sick. You don't need to worry about dressing up or anything. So you can just wear some sweatpants and a sweatshirt because your goal is to get better. And you don't really need to worry about dressing up because you're usually staying at home when you're sick. Okay, so this next one is for only people that wear glasses or contacts. So I suggest if you wear contacts to not wear contacts when you're sick, just wear some glasses because usually glasses are more comfortable. So you don't need to worry about wearing contacts, just wear glasses. This next one is one of my favorites and that is throw blankets. I love to have blankets when I'm sick. I can just like curl up in a blanket and just feel all cozy. So yeah, I suggest to, if you don't have a throw blanket to go out and get one because yeah, they're definitely an essential for when you're sick. This next one is to do when you're bored. If you're bored, then you can grab a book or like maybe go on Netflix or something. I'm just reading a book right here because that'll definitely pass the time when you're sick. Okay, so this is probably my favorite thing when I'm sick and that is comfort food. It's important to have your comfort food when you're sick because like you just feel like trash and you just like need something to make you happy. So like whether it's chicken noodle soup or like pasta or grilled cheese, whatever that is, just make sure you have your comfort food as long as it's not like a super sugary candy because that will not help you out when you're sick. <laughs> And those are all of the essentials I have for you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with all of your friends and family that may be sick right now. Help them out. And if you're new here, hi.
Hi, my name is Cassie. I post DIY and lifestyle videos pretty much every Sunday, so you should subscribe to join the DIY Life family. And yeah, I think that's about it, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!